All right, fellas, we're gonna do a yard walk. We're loaded, chained down. We're not cleaned up, but we still gotta pick a few things up, put some flags on. This is a Lee Bear LH60C material handler. And as you can see, we're running it supported on timbers. We are 15.9 or so wide. We're running with the tracks about six inches off the ground. The fall off load is up the hill loading. This was a, is a rock quarry that's finished. Where I'm standing, it was 100 foot deeper than this, they claim. Um, but they got some gold out here in the form of yard walk gold so we're gonna go check it out all of these pieces of iron have to be moved out of here or moved around or something of course of course half of this shit doesn't run or needs something so i figured we'd take a few minutes and we'll go look at these. I was raised up being told they were called pans. Most people call them a scraper. I guess that's if you're a Yankee or a, I'm a cracker. They call me a Florida cracker, so I don't know. Oh, goody, this one's got a Detroit in it. It's probably a 6V92. Might be a 318 chrome valve covers. I like it. This is a combine international harvester. And this, I wonder if this is what they call a double barrel. Yep. It's got an engine in the front, which just looks to be maybe a I don't know what this one is. Hmm. I'm not sure. That's damn sure a combine though. Oh yeah. It's got the old international harvester right there. Transfer case right there. You can see where it goes in there. It's probably the transmission, but it's still a transfer case if you will how little this turbo is yep see it's called a double barrel or at least that's what i understand it to be called because there's an engine in the front and the rear and then this here is a compactor that you pull behind it another compactor which all it does is make shit that you can't walk on. This is a Cat 657B. Yeah, this mother here is heavy. Mm -hmm. That piece right there, that's a pretty good little bit of weight. So they've quarried everything out of here and now they're filling it with backfill trash not like household trash but dirt concrete broken up concrete this is a wabco never heard of that before got the old v8 i wonder that is that of yeah that's an eight cylinder probably an eight v92 um detroit you see here this I don't know what they call this the bucket chain maybe bucket elevator and that picks it up and scoops it up into the pan hmm. this thing looks like a load of misery 
and this one they've got it separated this one you can push on the back side of it with a dozer hey, look at that mother this shit's still worth quite a bit of money somebody will want it for parts I promise you 690 up i bet that's an 8v92 it's definitely an eight not a six and this rig here has been separated from this one yeah it's ready for the torch same here mm -mm -mm. what a nightmare You know what they say, and this is a tanker, pay hauler. They'll pay a lot to haul it out of here, I promise you. <clears throat> this is a push dozer. Man, this baby here is old. This is a cat. Oh, wow. I'm gonna zoom in, see if you can see whatever mountain that is right there. That's pretty cool. Sorry guys, I hit the button there. This is a roller. There's a compactor here. They, what do they call this a sheep's foot compactor or something like that yeah that right there would tear the hell up out of your trailer these big steel wheels what a beast that's another part of a pan now let's go look at this big hitachi So this baby, they say, is going to get cut up for scrap iron. This mother here. Holy smokes. You guys, I don't even know, begin to have any idea how much it weighs. Got its own 55 gallon drum of grease to grease it with. Look at the damn lift cylinders. Holy shit. You can see all the grease fitting lines here, right here. And they come all the way out to the boom. This, this machine probably has one man that does nothing but grease it. smokes how's that for a bucket that's probably almost eight feet wide maybe just shy of it Look how thick that dipper is it's pretty damn massive <clears throat> this is the two guys that helped me load super nice guys All these brand new idlers sitting here. New rail, that's probably for this beast. This is the fire suppression system here on the back for when it catches on fire from hydraulic fire or gets a hole in a fuel filter and starts spewing diesel. That's what that's for. It's got its own ladder. Look at the size of the radiator. Holy shit. Make a good artificial reef. What are y'all doing to this machine? What machine? This one you own. 
This one I'm standing on? Yeah. I'm moving it out of the way. All these machines are moving. We gotta move all of this stuff. How much of it runs? Uh, right now, none of it. <laughs> okay. You gotta move this big Hitachi also? Be a good place to bury it. Tell me. Well, I'm gonna keep just scoping it out, and then I'm gonna get out of y'all's way. Oh, and there looks like there's a cement silo over here. See if I can show you all that. Try to stay out of all this grease and oil. Yep, this is a small cement silo. This white thing on here is called the bag house. It basically bolts down over that. It's got, it's just a dust collector. When you fill a silo with cement or fly ash or slag, you blow it up in there pneumatically through this pipe. And that's how <clears throat> the dust collector catches all the dust. So these right here are called aerators. And basically what that does is there's an air pad on the inside that puts air in that cone that'll fluff your cement. So your cement will fall and you can see in there and that's just regular portland cement and then you can see that little small pipe down there at the end that's the fill pipe where it comes off of that other line that i showed you and then that big round opening is where the dust collector goes the square opening's a manhole but this is a really pretty small single single um, single compartment silo goes on a portable plant nothing big not that you need anything big but go over here and look in this hole uh, not really probably fall down in it call it a day this is a cat 641 water tanker look how big this tire is I mean, there's shit out here for days. We're gonna pull down to their scale and leave the unhook and leave it tonight. Our escorts will be here at 8.30 in the morning. There's a curfew till nine. And then we're headed for Kansas if we don't have any problems. See guys, and it's just like crazy. I mean, cat scrapers, Terex, just as far as you look. I mean, some of this shit's massive. I mean, I, I don't wanna haul none of it. Oh. They got to get all of this stuff fired up and move it. And there's even more scrapers. Yeah, I don't know what mountain that is over there, but that looks pretty damn cool. But they're steady bringing shit in. They're charging these guys to dump here. T-800 Kenworth.
I hear a dozer running over there, so that tells me there's somebody pushing this shit down the hill. As you can see, man, that's pretty... If, this, if they were 100 foot below this, that's a lot of rock that's come out of here. Oh yeah, there's a dozer right down there running. Looks like maybe a seven. wide track maybe a d7 or i guess it could be an eight pretty cool huh all right guys i'm gonna finish up we'll be back show you all that mountain one more time no idea which mountain that is but that's pretty cool